focus on your breath, and pay a careful attention. Because after all, this is the force of life that keeps the body and the mind together. So you want to look at this force to make sure that it's healthy for the body right now and healthy for the mind. And what's even more important is when you're looking at the breath, it's like you're looking at a mirror for the mind. You see the mind itself. You see when it's staying and when it's wandering off. This is often a shock to most of us, that when you try to sit down and just stay with the breath for five minutes, you find that the mind is all over the place. And that's its normal state, and yet we don't see it as anything unusual. Especially nowadays that everybody's multitasking all the time, going around in a state of perpetual distraction. There's no, so much that we don't notice, so it's good to focus in on one thing and get to know it really well. And what could be more important to know than your own mind? What you're thinking, what you're planning, how many layers of intentions are down there. All of these things are shaping your life, and if you don't look at them carefully, they're going to put it in the wrong shape. So here's some time for monotasking. Just focus on one thing, the breath, really clearly. And you'll see a lot of things there that you wouldn't have imagined before. It's like taking a magnifying glass and focusing in on a very ordinary object. And you suddenly find that when you get really, really close to it, really, that has a beauty of its own. It has a intricacy of its own that you might not have noticed before. So here's the breath. Here's your mind. You want to get to know them really well. The mind has its beauty, beautiful side. It also has its ugly side. Greed, aversion, and delusion come in, and we don't like them. And oftentimes we pretend that they're not there, but that means they just go behind the scenes and control everything. So instead, you want to see these things and ferret them out. That's when the mind really does get beautiful, when it's clean of these things, clear of these things. And there's no other way you're going to do this except from getting the mind to be really still. Develop good concentration, good powers of focus. And you see all kinds of things that you never anticipated. And that means you'll be able to deal with them. If you don't see them, you can't deal with them. But once you see them, you begin to realize, oh, this causes suffering, or that doesn't cause suffering. This causes stress, that doesn't cause stress. You can ferret these things out. And it's a lot easier to get rid of the things that cause suffering and stress and to encourage the ones that don't. But it all depends on your focusing on one thing at a time. Focusing on the breath, and as I said, the breath is like a mirror for the mind. You've got two things right here, but if you focus in one place, you've got them both here together. This is a one task that really does de deserve all your attention, to be a one task, a single task. We get used to multitasking because there's so many things out there that don't really require all of our attention. But this really does, because it's the way your mind moves, the way your mind makes decisions. That affects everything else. So you want to understand that and see it clearly. So settle down right here and pay careful attention. And you come to see the things that are really useful, that really can make a difference in your life. 